who you're not going to believe what day it is. Oh shit! Hey smokers, Draga10 here, and today we're going to be installing an SSD into the 2006 Mac Pro. Oh wait, he already did that. And I also don't have a Mac Pro. Dang it. Uh, today we're going to be installing an SSD into the 2006 MacBook Pro. So I haven't actually showed this on the channel in a while. Um, Last time you've seen it was in the Macintosh Performa video, where I tried and failed to use it to write an HFS floppy disk. But at the time of that filming, I had actually installed um, 10.4 on it, which I was intending on doing more uh, fun stuff with that, but I originally had 10.7 installed on here, which was on the original hard disk, I'm pretty sure. But I tried to reinstall the 10.7 drive, but it did not fucking boot anymore, for some reason. So currently installed in this machine is a another mechanical hard disk with 10.6 um, Snow Leopard installed, which I only actually installed a while ago, um, but I tried to copy over 90% um, of the stuff that I had installed on 10.7 back onto here, uh, with a few exceptions for software that was not supported on 10.6. Now today we have a any SSD. This is a crucial 2.5 inch SSD or a crucial BX100 um, 250 gigabyte. So this is actually the um, old Lubuntu SSD from my secondary PC. I move I move the stuff off of here onto my Debian SSD. So we should be okay to wipe this even though this install is like five years old, but I guess it'll die now. So I don't actually really buy new SSDs um, to install and stuff. The, I've only ever bought actually three brand new SSDs uh, in my life. First SSD I ever bought was the um, A-Data SSD that I originally had in the Dimension E520. And then I also bought two Kingston SSDs one of them was for the E520 Ubuntu, and the other one is in my 2010 MacBook Pro, which is actually smaller because I, I moved it to the 13 instead of the 15 because the 15's um, MagSafe board exploded. So, uh, yeah. So I'm actually just going to prop this up on a workbench really quick. Man, 10 times Friday budget increased. Hey, well, when you spend half your waking hours sitting on the floor, it's it's nice to have. Before, when you plug this in, it would start automatically because the uh, PRAM battery was deceased. Ooh. Isn't it a beauty? Hopefully it will actually start because this is a 60 watt charger. But we can get a little uh, stopwatch going. So we're currently booting off our mechanical hard disk, our 320 gigabyte. Hitachi. Alright, so I'll start it in three, two, one. Forty-five seconds. That's actually not bad, but um, yeah. So there were a couple um, startup items that were um, loading in, and when those are done, is when I count that the the boot time is is done, um, which is uh, these up here because I I need to have uh, 
max fan control running all the time on here because the uh, thermals are like kind of fucked and um, otherwise it will like start grinding away on your eardrums. So, so you can take a quick look at um, disk utility. And our boot drive is a uh, 320 gigabyte Hitachi HTS545032 B9A302. <sighs> they just keep getting longer. So now we just need to put the SSD into the machine. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll actually do it. So I have a little uh, 2.5 inch um, SATA adapter. Um, I have a, a better SATA sled that has a um, barrel jack connector for the uh, 3.5 inch hard drives, but that is not currently necessary. So hopefully this will actually work on here. So you can see it shows up as a J Micron generic media, unfortunately, due to the controller inside this cheapo adapter. So we have our, our Linux partitions. Um, not sure if there's any way to read those. So our current drive is um, Mac OS Extended Journaled. So um, I guess we should just be able to, to um, erase these. Oh shit. I made that Mac um, MS-DOS. Okay, I need these partitions to not be alive. There you go. Mac OS Extended Journaled. So this drive will be 250 gigabytes. On our main 320 gigabyte drive, we still have 281 gigs free. And that's even with the, uh, the 7 gigabyte, uh, Snow Leopard disk image just, just sitting in the root of the drive for no reason. Alright, so now we should have a brand spanking new uh, SSD uh, over the, the re remains of, of my Linux install. Um, so I've seen this program used before. I actually used the same program for tra transferring my grandma's uh, 2010 MacBook over to an SSD. Ta-da! So this should allow us to... Um, oh, shit, I thought that was the applications folder. Uh, allow us to um, make a nearly one-to-one -one copy of our current system onto any other drive that you want. Um, I, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that it will run because it does this every time on here. So I, I kind of wish it was this easy on Windows, but I'm probably gonna jinx it by saying that. So I like this, like, what's gonna happen thing. So it says, all files on Macintosh HD will be copied to Untitled 1, except the temporary and system-specific files that Apple recommends excluding. So we really should be good to go, so... Believe it or not, the password is, is password. No, no four letter words here. And there it goes. Goodbye for a second time, Linux. So now we're just gonna let it uh, do its thing and I'll check back on it. An error occurred while blessing OS X system folder. LS volumes until one system library core services boot X. No such file. Stuff looks like it's there. Well, let's uh, let's let's compare. Okay. This this is our hard disk, and this is the the SSD over here. Boot X. Boot. Uh, yeah, it doesn't exist. Shit.
Let's see if by some sort of miracle it can actually boot. And then I'll install it. Ugh. Oh, look at that. The boots. Of course, I, I'm going to assume this is USB 2 and it's probably SATA 2 as well. Just guessing based off of this being from 2006. Okay, running off of that external drive is, is not good, guys. It's not good. This is the opposite of SSD. This is, this is failing mechanical hard disk experience. Let's let's get out of here. All right. Well, it's time to install the SSD. We don't really need to take the battery out because the battery is well completely uh, toast now. Um, th this actually used to work uh, for about five minutes, but I plugged a a bad MagSafe charger into this thing, and I think that 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 shot the battery to death. Uh, uh, well, we need to get this out anyways, so these early pre-unibody MacBooks are actually are a lot more tedious to open than the later uh, 2010s, because of course these is just your um, 10 screws, and uh, you're good. Yes, that is yet another MacBook. Probably gonna sell that one though, but these ones are a lot more of a chore to get into. Um, I forget what size this is, uh, this is a... Uh, our uh, Torx driver and our Phillips. So under this uh, RAM door is the two Torx screws, and that's the only time you actually use the Torx screwdriver. Now we have our four screws here. So there's another four screws on this side, four more screws on this side, and two screws on the back side. Almost 20 screws. So now we'll flip it over, and this should just lift up like so, and the keyboard lifts up with a little uh, ribbon cable right there. Um, li literally the, com the complete opposite of, of normal Max. Alright, so there, these are our hard disk, and I, I don't think this is, this is actually screwed in at all. So I think we can just yank this out of here. There we go. This is an official uh, Apple drive out of a um, yeah January 2011. So that 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 this actually came out of a, a 2010. I remember that actually. But now this can get out of here, get into there, and um, I guess this isn't really strictly necessary since it's on a mechanical hard drive. I just I just put that in there since um, I'm admittedly not actually gonna keep this in here forever so so our keyboard clamps straight down there and uh just close it up yeah so remember that our last was 45 so three two one Fuck you. Almost thought it didn't work. I might do this one again and see if it's a little bit... Just got its marble sorted out. Seriously? Shit, this is a drug one video. Please respond or I'll get rid of you. What the fuck? Well, on our way to make another copy. Alright, let's do this right. No more Amazon bullshit. We got the real deal. Also, purchase from Amazon for cheap. I have a um, power adapter for this, but again, it's not needed. 
It's also not the original because the original that came with this felt pretty dodgy, but for the most part, this thing is um, wearing everything I've thrown at it perfectly fine. Well, you can see now it actually has the correct name, at least. Um, CT250BX100SSD. So, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this one again. Um, since Super Duper apparently didn't, couldn't actually find that one file, I don't know if it is actually designed for 10.6. So, according to this person, 2.72 has issues with 10.6, but this is... Is the version I have even too old? Version 1.5.5. Well, I, I actually probably got it from that Macintosh repository. So 1.5 is the oldest one on here, and 2.7 has issues, so I could go with 2.14 or 2.5. 2.5 is any set for some reason. There we go. This version's actually from 2008, so um, if 2.5 is from 2008, that means the other one I had on here is actually like um, fucking ancient, which makes sense why it didn't work now. So I can try 2.7.1. Okay, so we've now returned. So this is uh, 2.7.1, which, um, well, can I get any file dates on this? 2012. So we should be golden. So we have our uh, our untitled one again. So Microsoft HD to untitled. So all the same thing. So um, here we go again. Oh yeah, and I, t I totally forgot this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh fucking hell. We did it. Oh, we did it. Alright, so... Uh, elapsed time is an hour and one minute. So now, it's time to... Um, shut down again. <sighs> and here's the... Treasure. Um, yeah, I know that the webcam that I, I used to film that looks like shit, but I I genuinely don't have a better one. Ooh, that's toasty. So is that. Speed round. Okay, well it's time for the uh, the real test. Really? Holy shit, hurry up! So, um, what, was it worth it? Fuck yeah! <laughs> so even if the SSD upgrade wasn't, um... So even if the SSD upgrade didn't exactly make it, um... You know, a heck of a lot faster... At least we've successfully cloned, um... This hard disk onto another drive. 
Now I should actually be able to put my Precious 10.6 install into uh, whatever I want. You know, all my documents are still there, so that's good. And it would appear that there were no, uh, uh, no casualties in the applications folder there. So actually, my second part of this experiment, and part of why I even want to do this in the first place, um, since it's likely that I'll actually re reinstall the mechanical hard disk into this machine. Uh, sorry SSD gods, but it's just, it's what it is. So I actually want to see if I could get a working 10.6 install on my um, 2010 Mac Mini without going through the painstaking process of reinstalling all of the software. And yes, this is like a little bit weird because, um, so we know how this works. We got the numbers. So let's, um, close this up here, except not close it up because I need to open it. And we'll see if this, uh, super duper drive, which the Snow Leopard until was originally installed on this machine, will be able to boot on a, uh, much newer, also, uh, 64-bit machine. So it might not actually like this because, of course, um, this is a 32-bit machine. This is a, not the Core 2 Duo, but the, the Core Duo. So now we're gonna have to figure out how to open this. Now, I believe that this actually already has a hard disk in it. The, the reason for this cable is that my, my friend's dad gave this to me and uh, it used to be mounted in a car and it has some sort of special navigation software on it. I'm gonna just start taking wild guesses on how to take this apart. So we gotta bust out the torque screwdriver set. Just start removing shit that I think should be removed. So this is my first time ever actually opening a Mac Mini, let alone uh, owning a Mac Mini. Okay, for a second I thought that was an SSD, and I was like, holy shit, they left an SSD in here? But no. Wire connectors in there, so more work has been done in here than I thought. It's like, there, there's no way it, it just it just sits like, like that. Dude. Screw things on one side, I'm not sure if that... Oh, it does line up somewhere in there, but I'm guessing there's supposed to be something on that side that's missing. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's not factory. Hopefully I didn't, uh, fuck up that connection there. But, um, other than that, uh, just 4 gigs of RAM, so uh, I'll upgrade that later if I... Who designed this? There? Oh, I didn't even realize that uh, these screws screw into the drive that's underneath it. Well, I'm not good if it can't reach the, the drive. So I'm going to assume that this is all supposed to go like this. I haven't ripped the Wi-Fi antenna off yet, so... Alright, well, my camera like, stopped recording. But um, I managed to get this back in here. It, it kind of sounded like something broke. So now, of course, we're going to need a setup to use our Mac Mini with. So I actually brought out the uh, desk monitor here because it has DVI. Because, of course, the Mac Mini is only HDMI. So we have DVI on one side, HDMI on the other side with um, a adapter. Of course, we'll need a mouse and keyboard. So what better choices than, uh, well... A Microsoft keyboard, hence the uh, that shitty Acer mouse. This is not an Apple-approved setup. All right. Well, we should be able to uh, plug this in, and it's on. <laughs> there it is. It's actually good. I, I didn't time that, but sorry, I, I was uh, eating a sandwich. Oh my god, it actually works! And dang, this display looks good on here. You even got the Wi-Fi and everything. What the hell? And this is a 2.3 gigahertz Core i5. Holy crap! Yeah, I've never actually been able to power this on because of the 
power supply. I only just uh, hacked together that PC power supply not long ago. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. So anyway, thank you to all you guys for watching and supporting this channel and all that. Merry Draga and, and happy 420 to everyone out there. But really a huge thanks to Draga1 for um, inspiring me to do what I do and to even really get into computers in the first place because because um, really without him there never would have been a 10 times Friday YouTube channel with all these crazy computer videos and stuff so you know I'm actually filming this before 420 so I don't know if um, so I don't know if he's coming back I don't have my hopes up but I'm not gonna bother him or whine about it or anything because because I know that Draugr has really moved on from this point of his life at least in the public view and when you look at his community it's uh, not really too hard to see why so Draugr might be gone but now it's up to people like me or you to fill the gaps for awesome content in tech YouTube so just um, go out there have fun smash stuff together and point a camera at it that's all you have to do for the last time thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye. Uh.